Hey folks, this is Surya from Skilllink. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Hope you are well and safe. At Skilllink, one of the most sought after course is our Masters in Hybrid Electric Vehicle Design and Analysis. And today, I am very excited to announce that we will be joining hands with MathWorks to make this course even more powerful. Working with MathWorks, we are now introducing an additional module where students of Skilllink can get a month long live training on advanced concepts of electric and hybrid electric vehicle directly from experts at MathWorks. This video will explain what will be covered in this one month live session. This is an additional add on module that you can basically avail by paying a particular amount. In this one month live training program, you will look into six modules. The first module is Simulink for Automotive Applications. Second module is State Flow for Automotive Applications. Third module is Modeling Physical Systems with Simscape. Fourth module is Battery Modeling and Battery Management System Design. Fifth module is Modeling Electric Powertrain System with Powertrain Block Set. And sixth module is Modeling Power Electronic Systems with Simscape. The idea behind introducing this coursework in addition to Masters in Electric Vehicle and masters in hybrid electric vehicle is that it provides you the fundamental and advanced knowledge that will be needed when you go for a job. Along with this program, you will also get a skill link and a math work combined certification by the end of this 30 day program as well. So let's dive in and see what you will be learning in this coursework. Day one and two, you will start with Simulink for automotive applications. It is continued on day three and four as well. So you will start with creating a Simulink model. You will look into model programming constructs, modeling discrete systems, modeling continuous systems. This is what you will do in the first two days. Third and fourth day, you will look into how to select a solver. What are the aspects that you need to think about? How to develop model hierarchy, modeling conditionally executed algorithms, combining models into diagrams, and how to create libraries. With this, you will basically finish Simulink. Then you will start state flow for automotive applications. You will start with modeling flowcharts, modeling state machines, hierarchical state diagrams, parallel state diagrams. And as a continuation for that, you will start looking into how using events in state diagrams is done, how to call functions from state flow, what are truth tables and state transition tables, what is component based modeling in state flow and how it is done. With this, you will finish module one and two module three is modeling physical systems with simscape here you look into introduction to simscape and the physical network approach how to work with simscape components how to connect physical domains how to combine simscape models and simulink models how to create custom components with simscape language with that the third module is finished fourth module starts with battery modeling using simscape and battery management system design. Here you will look into battery models and battery terminology in Simscape language. You will look into creating battery models using Simscape, cell model and characterization, and then battery pack modeling. As a continuation for that, you will also look into battery management system overview, SOC estimation using extended Kalman filter, cell balancing using state flow logic, testing battery management system using Simulink test. Then the next module, module five, is modeling electric powertrain system with powertrain block set. Here you will look into how to construct entire vehicle level model using powertrain block library, component sizing for battery and motor choices, range and performance estimation, identify powertrain architecture for better performance. The last module, modeling power electronics systems with Simscape, you will look into modeling single phase power electronic components, controlling the level of fidelity in a model, developing controls for power electronics, modeling three phase power electronic components, controlling power electronics for motor drive applications. This extensive one month live session, in addition to your masters in electric vehicle or masters in hybrid electric vehicle, will provide a very strong fundamental and advanced knowledge in designing different aspects of electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicles. Introducing this and partnering with MathWorks is that skilling students will benefit out of these programs. We look forward to seeing you in these programs and taking up these programs. All the very best. Thank you.